What's going on guys, Flick here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 16 Borussia Dortmund career mode. And in the last episode, we got into the January transfer window and were able to make a huge signing selling Nuri Sahin and adding Jaka to the team. We haven't been able to play a game with them yet, but that's going to change in today's episode. I'll show you guys the calendar and the games that we're going to play. To start things off, we have a match at home against Ingolstadt. We've played them a couple of times this season, so I'm going to be simulating this match. I don't want to bore you guys by playing the same teams. Then moving on to January the 6th, we have a match against Hertha, BSC Berlin. They're a pretty quality side. we got to make sure we bring out a strong team for that one. Moving on next, we have a match against Hanover at home. And to end off the episode, we have an away match in the EuroLeague against Fenerbahce. So it should be a good episode. And one last thing before we get into the games, I want to talk a little bit about the transfer business. I got a couple of comments saying I should sell Royce or Aubameyang to spice up the series a little bit and add some new players to the team. I'm open to doing so, but not in the first season. I just haven't been able to have enough of Aubameyang and Royce, and I really enjoy using them. So I want to keep it for the first season, and I'll leave it up to you guys whether we should sell them in the second season. I'll do a straw poll or something toward the end of the first season. Uh, but instead of making any more signings in this transfer window, I decided to go after another youth scout. And luckily, I was able to find a five-star, five-star youth scout from Switzerland. It's going to be our first five-star, five-star scout, and I'm happy to add him to the team. Thus far, we have a scout in Germany as well as Poland, and I'm going to send our final scout over to the United States. There's an increasing amount of players from the U.S. in the Bundesliga, and I think it would be awesome if we could find a talented player from the U.S. Here's our starting lineup for this match against Ingolstadt. They have two wins and a draw in their last three games. And this is going to be a debut match for Jaka. So we'll see if he can assist in creating a goal or even get a goal himself as Danilo picks up a yellow card in the 14th minute and moving on to the 30th minute. Still no scoreline. Ingolstadt is a pretty good team defensively. But Aubameyang makes it 1-0 just before halftime. And we already make a substitution. Ramos coming in for Herman, And still 1-0 going into the 70th minute now. Can we hang on? for a result and pick up three points in this one. Ramos makes it 2-0. That's going to seal the deal. We get the win, 2-0. With an hour left in transfer deadline day, we'll take a look at some of the top deals. And we were involved in some of the biggest transfers in the January transfer window. Jasper Sillison on his way to Sevilla for $27.5 million from Ajax. Of course, Granit Xhaka to us for $26 million. And Nuri Sahin over to Manchester City for $22 million. We have our final youth scouting report from Germany. See if our German scout brought back any good talents. 80 potential to start things off. 94, we will sign up Christopher Plattenhardt. He looks to be a center attacking mid, which is what we need. Currently, we only have two center backs in our youth academy. Plattenhardt is followed by an 87 rated player. 74, 89, 63, 88, 83, 86, 72, 69, 88, 85, and a 77 rated player. Unfortunately, Goodwin has suffered a training injury, and that's going to set him out for two months. That's a big blow to us because he's currently one of our starting center mids. Luckily, we do have a couple other players that can fill that gap. I think I'm going to give it to Castro, and if he doesn't work out, we can always give it to Julian Weigel. A fresh round of training for us is going to see Dragoski go up to a 77 overall rating and Weigel up to a 76. With it being a new month, we'll quickly go into a squad report and check out some of the player growth this season. Overall, the players that we've been training a lot have seen some immense growth. Poslak as well as Dragoski up plus six this season, and they're on track to maybe get up plus 10 by the end of this season, and that would be absolutely ridiculous. Julian Weigel as well, up plus four. Some good growth for him. Hermann surprisingly up plus two. Didn't expect that. It's good to see him growing at a pretty rapid rate for being a new transfer. Blasikowski as well, up plus two while on loan. That's exactly what we like to see. He's going to be returning at the start of next season. Not sure what I'm going to be doing with him because we do have Herman, uh, who I might sell, and maybe we'll give uh, Blasikowski the start instead of him. Uh, but it'll be an interesting dynamic, and I'll have to use your guys' comments to figure out what we want to do. Werner up plus one, Ramos up plus one, and Immobile up plus one while on loan, and Harder up plus three while on loan. Monthly scouting update from Poland, 73 potential to start things off, 75, 75, 76, 84, and finally a 94 rated player in the potential, and we will sign him up, looks to be a center back or left back, and finally an 83. Piszczek wants to get his hands on a new contract, but he's demanding 40,000 more than his current contract. That's a bit much for me, and we're a little bit low on our transfer budget and wage budget, so I'm not going to do anything about his request for now. Here's our starting 11 for the match against Hertha BSC Berlin. And of course, this is our first match that we'll be using Jaka in game. I'm incredibly excited about using him. Here's a look at the Bundesliga league table. And we are still sitting in the first place position. Equal on points with Bayern. We got to make sure we do not drop any points, especially against team 
like Hertha BSC Berlin. They've got a couple of good players. They got John Anthony Brooks is the one that sticks out to me. But they do also have Thomas Kraft in the sticks for them, and he's a pretty decent keeper. He's going to be tough to beat in this match, but we've got a strong starting 11 and a couple of new additions to the squad. Ben Hatira on the ball. He's going to play this one inside. It's Wanderson. Wandering around the outside of the box, and we're going to clear it out. Pitch check. Find the outlet. Hermann now to Mkhitaryan. He's going to play it through to Castro. Castro sees Royce making the run. He's got tons of space in front of him, and he's going to use a couple of big touches to get this one forward. Cuts inside. Can we get a finesse shot off? Come on. Right at Kraft. Can find Jaka. Jaka finds the pass. It's going to be Mkhitaryan now on the ball. He finds Royce. Royce getting inside the box. Now this is good build up and we're going to lose it. We're going to get it right back I think. No, it's cleared out. What? What? We got a penalty. I was just mashing the A button because I thought it was a throw in but we get a penalty. We'll have to look at the instant replay. The foul must have occurred somewhere around here. You can see the Hertha BSC defenders on the ground. Royce going for the ball. And we'll see where the penalty actually took place. I don't understand that penalty. He cleared the ball out. And then the ref points for the penalty spot. Although I don't agree with the decision, we're going to let Aubameyang take this. See if he can put it off to the right. Get it by Kraft. And Kraft going to the right direction. But we're going to make the save and dead fish into the net. Able to find Mkhitaryan. He's going to play this one through. And now Herman's got space. Could we make it two already? Played it inside. What a bit of passing. Mkhitaryan. It's an over the bar, but it did take a deflection by John Anthony Brooks. Durham getting by the defender. He's just given up on the play. Now he's going to find Royce. The defender got a piece of it, but not enough of it. Royce played it inside. This is a good bit of passing. Mkhitaryan over to Aubameyang. The finesse shot. That one is defended well. And this time the ref's not going to call a penalty. We're at halftime, the stats are showing that we've been the dominant team, however we're only up by a goal and Berlin have had a couple of chances in this game. I want to make sure we get another goal to at least have that two goal cushion. Stucker on the ball, plays it through, and just like that, Berlin gets a goal back. I was telling you guys at halftime that they've been a little bit dangerous, and just like that, Pischek with one bad pass, they get a counter-attacking opportunity, and they're going to score from it. Really not sure how they were able to play that one through. That little bit of space, Derm should have been back in defending. But it's 1-1. we got to get another goal now. Hummel's going to win the header, but it goes right back to a Berlin player. And, oh, Ben Hatir's beaten Piszczek. They're going to play it through. Don't get another one. No way. That's their second shot on target, and they get their second goal. I can't believe this. I don't usually make defensive substitutions, but this game's going to be an exception. I'm bringing on Kagwa as well as Weigel. But I'm also bringing out Piszczek and bringing in Sula. He has just not played well in this game. Here we go. Play it through. This is what I'm talking about. Hermann with space. Get inside the box. Maybe we can get a penalty. No, he's going to sweat in the middle. This has to be a finish. Socrates! You just got to tap it in, bro. Come on, Royce. This is good. Royce, this is our last chance. We got to do something here. He's nearly fouled. He's going to keep it. No, it's defended again by Berlin. And that's the full-time whistle, guys. I can't believe we lost that game 2-1. to one. They had like two shots on target. Well, I stand corrected. They had three shots on target, but I still believe we should have at least gotten a draw, if not a win from that game. 11 shots, 6 on target, and we won the possession battle. What are you going to do? This training session is going to see Sula go up to an 81 overall rating with a B in his 1-on-2 defending. Here's our side for the Hanover match. I'm hoping that being in front of the home crowd will spur us on to victory. We've made a couple of substitutions, bringing in Sula for this match, as well as St. Justi, and then also giving Weigel and Kago at the start, as well as Hoffman. And luckily, Bayern hasn't overtaken us by too much. I think they got a draw in their previous game, which only puts them one point in front of us. Hanover do have a couple of notable players. Of course, they have Robert Zeeler, who is a pretty popular signing in career mode. So I know he's going to be tough to beat in the back of the net. It seems like I'm always coming up against these quality Bundesliga goalkeepers. And I think that has a lot to say about the status of the Bundesliga. Weigel played it inside. Jock is going to find Marco Royce. He's going to try to get around the defender. That's got to be a foul ref and we get a penalty. That's kind of what we need at this point. We're not creating opportunities otherwise. So let's get it on a penalty kick. Aubameyang to take it for us. He's going to put it off to the left this time. And can Zeeler make the save? No, he goes off to the opposite direction. And once again, we're going to dead fish into the back of the net. It's 1-0, just before halftime. Pretty similar stats to our previous game against Berlin. However, I'm going to try to learn from my mistakes in the Berlin game, play a little bit more defensively in this half, and try to go on a counterattack and get another goal through that method. 
Free kick for us here, and Royce is stepping up to take it. Can he get one and a half bars of power? And on target! Oh, that just sailing right over the crossbar. Oh, good build up already by Hanover. Just contain here. Just contain! No, they finish it in the top left hand corner. This seems to happen to me all the time. The CPU just scoring incredible goals off some patient build up. Hoffman descended in, puts it in a good position. And that is a beautiful goal. That is well crafted. Hug it out with your bro. Come here. There we go. Nice work between the Hoffman and Aubameyang. Just putting it in a perfect position. Only Aubameyang's gonna be able to get to that one. And he gets his brace. With 25 minutes left, we're gonna make a few changes, bringing in Werner Ramos as well as Leitner at the center mid position. We keep it here, Timo. This is a good build up. Leitner playing it through. It's gonna find Shinji Kagawa. It's gonna do a fake shot. Get inside the box here. And off to the left, now the cross. That's a beautiful cross. And the finish should have been better. I'm gonna be honest, Timo Werner should have put that away. The match ends at two to one. I would have liked to have gotten a couple of goals there toward the end, it was a little nerve wracking, but we still get the three points and we dominated in pretty much every statistic. Here's our team coming up against Fenerbahce in the round of 32 tie in the EuroLeague. We've made some substitutions, of course, because this is a midweek fixture, but I've got some of our better players here on the bench in case things go sour. Here's the Fenerbahce team, a couple of familiar faces, Erkin at the left back position, Robin Van Persie and Nani also getting the start. They brought out a very strong starting 11, which shows that they are taking this EuroLeague competition very seriously. And that makes sense because they probably don't have as much competition in the Turkish League. Johan Torre still on the ball, he's gonna play it inside. Well, that's not a good start, is it? Already, it's 1-0 for Fenerbahce, three minutes into the game. I believe that would have been Johan Torre on the right hand side, just with some very patient buildup. I was just containing, but he gets the pass opening. That is a good run and a good finish. Kagawa, able to find Ramos, this is good build up. We're gonna play it out wide. And now it's Bender on the ball, he's cutting inside. Can he just go with the shot with his right foot? Testing the keeper, and that is a good start for us. Finally, we get a shot on target. At least keep the keeper working. Sula finds the pass. And now Castro, gonna find Paslak. He's gonna play this one inside, good bit of build up so far. Kagawa finds Ramos, looking to play it over the top. And we're gonna keep possession, Kagwa now. is gonna find Bender, he plays it through. This is a chance for Ramos, can he get the finesse shot? Chester get it around the keeper, and it's saved. Oh my goodness. A tough half for us there. We nearly scored toward the end of the first half, and we're pretty equal on the opportunities created. Try to hold a little bit more possession here in the second half. I still think we can get at least a draw, and I'd be okay with that, because we could return back to Dortmund and get a win at home. Oh, still here, Castro playing it through to Brandt. He's got tons of space here, probably our best chance all game. Getting by a couple players, Bruno Alves to the rescue. The experienced defender showing it right there. We've got Royce, Aubameyang, and Werner coming in for our front three. We've got 25 minutes, we need to get a goal. Markovic on the ball here, bursting down the right hand side. He's gonna cross it in, Drogoski, a good save on his near post. Aubameyang playing it through to Royce, this is good. No, it's Timo Werner actually. Werner on the left hand side, he's gonna play it through, this is good, the through ball, this is a chance for us, Sar has to put it away, and there it is, it's one to one, of all people to score it, it is our center back Sar. I went all out attack, because I know that we need to at least get a draw in this game, and I'm really happy with this scoreline, a one to one scoreline is gonna be really good for us. Full time whistle, and we managed to get the draw, good stuff there, and we were pretty equal there in the second half, creating some opportunities, and deservedly we get a goal it ties up at one to one and that's gonna bring an end to the episode today guys hope you did enjoy it if you did do me a favor leave a like down below subscribe if you're new to the channel until next time this has been flick i'll be talking to you guys again soon